Hi, I'm Karmi Shammas. I'm your astrologer. Today I will talk about Wednesday, the 22nd of May. Today the moon is in Scorpio for the second consecutive day, which makes it another beautiful day if you're uh, Scorpio, Pisces and uh, Cancer. How is it going to be for all signs? Aries, uh, definitely uh, the, the sun in Gemini will activate so many things in your life. Your, even your, your, uh, your patience will be uh, um, activated. Your, uh, maybe your uh, uh, interest uh, in different aspects of life will be activated also. It's a nice day. Uh, maybe suddenly you want to resolve a certain old issue and it can be done. Planet Mars is near your birthday. If you were born between the 7th and the 9th of uh, April, please drive carefully. Taurus, uh, the moon may... Uh, bring up some maybe some sensitive issues that will make you feel a little bit emotional maybe it is something that triggers maybe some past memories or will take you down uh, a road that you really don't want to go there stay away from negative people from toxic situations it's not that bad it's just that we don't want to we don't want you to ruin any beautiful um, um, uh, energy that you have with you, you brought along with you where, from the sun in your sign for 30 days and also from Jupiter. So uh, stay calm and prove them wrong. Um, you can be quite uh, lucky actually if you were born on the 19th, 20th of May. Gemini, things can be resolved, definitely, although I think it's going to be a longer day than you have expected or you expect. So it's going to be a bit demanding. Maybe you'll feel a little bit tired. Maybe uh, you're not used now to um, this extra load of, uh, of, uh, of activity since the sun in the past 30 days maybe caused... Uh, some maybe some kind of laziness so in all cases this is a nice day to get things started again but it's going to be long uh, but it is nevertheless a beautiful day moving to cancer definitely this is a nice day to if you want to um, do something uh, maybe personal like uh, getting in touch with your family getting in touch with your loved ones getting in touch that maybe there was some problems or conflicts between you or maybe not but it would be a nice day to enjoy a romantic beautiful day and good quality time with your family with your um, uh, those people close to your heart even at work it is a nice day to enjoy everybody can be lucky especially those born uh, on the 10th 11th of uh, july that's because of the positive um, empowering um, uh, vibes uh, from saturn Moving to Leo, Leo, so it may not be the best of days, but it is a, a great day uh, for you to settle things down, to uh, make things clear uh, and very transparent, especially when it comes to your personal um, uh, life, personal issues, uh, personal preferences. I'm talking maybe about issues between you, your family, or maybe between you and those close to you, whether at work or uh, in your social life. So there should be kind of a a boundary uh, description or delineation so that people don't cross this limit. Moving to uh, Virgo, Virgo, this is a fast, fast day and it's uh, really crazy how you're going to be so convincing, so able to transmit the idea and to make others see what you want. And all can be done, all of this can be done with a nice tone of voice so it's going to be a beautiful very convincing day um, and i think you have to do your best because today uh, wednesday is going to be definitely better than thursday friday and saturday especially at work Libra, it's uh, uh, definitely it's a very positive day. Whether it's uh, the vibes are coming, positive vibes are coming from the sun or from the moon, both planets, both luminaries will help you, will help actually um, uh, highlight the best in you. So it's going to be a beautiful day and this day can be great for winning. They can be great to proving yourself actually worthy of all beautiful things at work or in your personal uh, social life. Moving to Scorpio with the moon in your sign and the sun in Gemini. Um, this is a promising day, definitely. It will help you look at things in a different way and definitely it will help you. Actually, it will empower you to introduce big 
um, important changes. Maybe you were a little bit shy or maybe afraid to take steps toward uh, incorporating something new in your life. But today I think it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful day and you will be totally happy by the around the end of this day. As for Sagittarius, as I said on Tuesday, this is one of the weakest days of the week. It's not promising, meaning it's not expect a big results. Maybe it's a normal kind of day or maybe it's less than normal. So uh, pay attention, keep uh, stay alert, uh, keep your eyes on your belongings. If you have a maybe a trip or you're traveling or you have some exams, you have to keep your eyes on your belongings and you have to double check on all questions before you answer and after you answer you have to double check your answers moving to capricorn it is a nice day because it helps you actually look at things in a very different bright positive way and there are friends to help there are people who are ready to help maybe there is something and information that you need and you can get it from a total stranger so uh, try to have an open mind and try to reach out to others. You can also be very helpful and play an important part in your uh, day. Uh, let's move now to Aquarius. Aquarius with the sun in Gemini, you may feel more interested in things going around you, uh, but the sun, but the, uh, the moon, which is in Scorpio, may actually demand of you, from you, more, um, more um, let's say, more important uh, results. So, uh, and you have to stay as calm as possible because you're under the spotlight. So it can be kind of an exam, presentation, or an interview. In all cases, uh, you may celebrate something on Thursday or Friday. Pisces, uh, if it is something that you're worried about, you need not worry about anything. The moon will actually empower you with great self-resilience and determination. And I think you can excel in anything you are doing. This is a great day to reach out to loved ones, to children, to your kids, to your parents, siblings, to your loved ones, partners, whatever it is. It's a beautiful day in contrast to the vibes coming on uh, reaching you on Thursday and Friday. So get, um, uh, get going, get moving and get beautiful results today. Let's wrap it up with one on the 22nd of May. This should be a, a, a good year, a very important year with Jupiter moving along with you all the time. This should be one of the best years. Like every 12 years, you get a big change, an opportunity for a big change in your life. And this is one of them. Try to work. Um, I think what you have to do is look for the best. Like you have to think for the long run, not to be short-sighted. You have to plan ahead. This is one of the best years that may knock on your door and I'm talking astrologically. So basically this is it. Wishing you all the best. See you tomorrow. Enjoy. Bye-bye.